Hey everybody, this is Mary Z at VoiceHacks.net. This lecture is on the belt voice. This is another lecture where we're going to talk about um, belting and rock and pop singing, okay? And if you haven't gone through this series, please, please do. It's really important to get a handle on what you're doing. And watch my neutral larynx videos because those are crucial to this as well. And of course, tone placement and breath support. So by now, if you've watched all that stuff though, you know what belting tone placement is. It's a forward tone placement. You take deep breaths, you keep a nice relaxed throat. This is what you do. But what about range? We're, we, we often run into conflicts with range. We talked about voice type. Now we gotta remember, if you haven't watched my video on voice type, go back and watch that. People have different voice types, males and females. You have low voice types, you have high voice types in both male and female. Um, um, genders. So, you know, if you listen to a singer and they're a belter and they're belting really high and they're singing a forward tone placement up high, so like, hey, or something like that, um, and not, ee, we're not talking about that. We're talking about rock, pop, R&B, belt, forward tone placement singing, and you can't hit the notes. It's probably because that's out of your belt range. And you're not gonna be able to belt. Belting, a forward tone placement can only be maintained in the first two octaves of our range. Once we get to the, the upper uh, octaves of our range, we need to move to either a more mixed voice or a more vertical tone placement. We need to change the way we imagine sending our sound. At the very tip ends of our belt register, we can send the sound forward, but that's it. You can't go up into your upper registers and belt. Uh, you know, you, your voice can't maintain that neutral larynx position very high with that forward tone placement. So you could do some tricks at the end of your register. You could switch to a more mixed voice tone placement, when you feel the voice getting too tight up top, that's when you know you've really reached the end of your belt register, when you can no longer maintain a relaxed larynx and you need to flip into a more vertical placement, you've reached the end of your belt register. Now you can expand that a little bit and trick the audience by going into a more of a mixed voice tone placement when you get to the high ends. So say um, you're just up a little too high um, you could really just focus on going from a forward placement to just a slightly mixed voice placement. Um, like So um, here's a good example of doing that. Like bring me to life, uh, Evanescence. If it's too high and you get to this, bring me to life, that part, and it's too high for you, you can flip into a more mixed voice and do something like a, bring me to life, like that type of a feel. So up at the upper ends of your register, I recommend from flipping from a straightforward belt tone placement to maybe more of a mixed voice tone placement. If you're feeling too much tension in your larynx, don't try to sing with a forward tone placement if your voice is gonna crack. Also, that'll make your fo vocal folds slam together and it will mess up your singing. The audience can't always tell the difference between a hard forward placement and a, a mixed voice placement once you're in the upper registers. So you could try that to expand your range a little bit, but also you have to keep in mind that you are uh, stuck with the voice type you're stuck with. If you're a contralto like myself, which is a low female voice type, again, if you're not sure what your voice type is, go watch my video. But if you have a low voice, you're not gonna be able to belt as high as a high voiced female. So if something's out of your range, transpose it. That means move it into a different key that you can sing. Um, don't try to belt uh, way out of your range because you will always fail at it and you won't be able to give a good performance and it will be frustrating to you. Same thing with high voiced people. If you want to sing um, you know, a low voiced song that's out of your range and it's a rock song, well then you need to transpose it up to appropriate key. If you're not really much of a, a musician or an instrumentalist, you don't have to worry about that. Take your instrumental backing track, throw it into GarageBand or whatever recording software you're using and there is always something you can use to transpose it. It's not the best uh, audio quality, but it will get you going in the right direction so you can learn the song in the right key. Don't give up. Don't listen to a song and go, well, that's too high for me. I can only sing low things. Well, just transpose that composition into a better key. Um, know your voice type. If you don't know your voice type, 
belting and range are going to be really frustrating for you. If you're an alto like myself and you keep um, getting angry because you can't sing um, high, really high belting rock songs, and that applies to male songs too. Some tenors can sing higher than altos, ladies. Um, you know, it's going to be frustrating for me. You know, just feel where you're comfortable. You can keep a nice neutral larynx, but once you get to the high parts and it starts tensing up, you're going to have to flip into mixed voice or transpose the song. Be aware of your range and be aware of the fact that you can't just do everything, but you can trick the audience. You can work with the instrument that you have and you can make it work. This has been a lecture on belting, and don't forget to review those other videos to make the most out of your belting rock, pop, R&B, country sounds. Thank you.